Let's say you're modeling a detective, perhaps a well-mannered Belgian, and you're looking for a proper mustache that fits his character. Why create mustaches manually when it's much easier procedurally? To rapidly prototype different styles of mustaches, all you need is this geometry node setup and these key parameters. Here, start with the Bezier node to form the overall shape of the mustache. Proceed to add frizz with the noise texture node. Sculpt the end of the mustache with the subtract node. And finish it with a pointy tip on the map range node. With this node setup, you can create any style of mustache at any level of sophistication for any type of detective. But if you want a deeper understanding of how these nodes work, let's take a few steps back. Starting with the base of the mustache and two modifiers, a geometry node and a mirror. The latter modifier gives us symmetry, while the former gives us a container for the node setup. In the node setup, the group input node hands us the initial geometry, and the group output is where we hand back the final result. It's in between these two that we transform the base object into a glorious mustache with thousands of strands of hair. So let's make some space between the two and add a distribute points node to scatter a large number of reference points on the input geometry. Then to place a strand of hair on top of each reference point, bring in an instance on points node, along with a realize instances node, and a quadratic Bezier node. At this point, the hair strands are in place, but invisible. To be able to see the hair strands, let's convert the curves into meshes by way of a curve to mesh node and its profile a low-resolution, small-radius circle. Now go ahead and shape the mustache with the control points on the Bezier node. The result is a large number of hair strands sticking out of the input geometry, not unlike a mustache, but definitely too smooth to look natural. So let's add some frizz with a set position node, a vector math node with its operation set to scale, a noise texture node, a map range node, and a spline parameter node. Keep in mind that the factor output of the spline parameter is a value that starts from zero at the base of each strand and increases the one towards the tip. This factor output passes through the map range node to then scale the noise texture along the length of the strand, starting with no frizz at the base and gradually increasing to full frizziness towards the tip. After adjusting the amplitude of the frizz on the map range node, we can use the noise texture node to adjust the frequency. The result are somewhat realistic hair strands aimlessly sticking out in all directions, which doesn't give the impression of a well-groomed, capable detective. The solution is to pull the mustache at its end and give it a pointy tip to make the shape look more deliberate. To do this, add another set position node. A pair of vector math nodes. The first one set to subtract and the second one to scale. A position node. 
a spline parameter node, ending map range node. The subtract node pulls the free end of the mustache towards the given coordinates while the map range node determines the pointiness of the tip. Bear in mind that the spline parameter node assures that pointiness only happens at the tip of the mustache and not at its base. With the mustache shaped, frizzed, and rolled to a pointy tip, it's time to trim the strands to random lengths using a trim curve node that takes its input from a random value node. Finally, to make it the tip of each strand pointy, use a set curve radius, a map range, and a spline parameter node. Now with the geometry node setup complete, keep in mind the main nodes that enable you to rapidly prototype different styles of mustaches are the quadratic Bezier node, which controls the overall shape of the mustache, the noise texture node, which adds frizz, and the subtract node, along with the map range node, which let us style the end of the mustache. This brings us to the end of the tutorial, where I show a snapshot of the entire node setup and point out the key parameters. Visit my Patreon page to download the project files for this and many other tutorials, and be sure to watch the next video to learn how to make a realistic skin texture. As for this one, thank you for watching, and until next time, take care.